Alrighty, folks, we're jumping into this handsome wine. <whistles> All right, so a little backstory. This is our Nero Davila. It's called the Don Cheech, and you can see, uh, for those of you who know the world infamous Frank Marizola, that's him. He's not world infamous. Don't go looking him up. Um, but he is my grandfather's best friend from Sicily. So Ciccio in Italian means um, jackass, donkey, dumbass. It's, it's an endearing term, though, I guess. I don't know how you make those terms endearing, but uh, it was a joke label we created. He is Don of the Donkeys. Now, really interesting story about how this label came to be. It was a joke label. We were hoping to give it to him. That same day, we had the... Um, Wahlberg's wine buyer for Almanov and Hingham coming over to the winery. So uh, she comes in, we sit down, we drink a bunch of wine. We have the mock label sitting on the bar. We're about to wrap up our day. She's walking out. She sees, she sees the label. She goes, oh my God, I love that label. We didn't try this wine. Now, the reason we didn't try it is it was relatively new to us. We were still aging it. And she said, look, let's, let's try it. I said, well, this is a joke label. We don't intend on going into distribution with it, but if you want to try it, of course, we'll sample it. So we sample it, and she says, that's the wine I want to bring into Almanov with that label. So Don Chico, John Chicho goes from being a joke to all of a sudden being a government-registered, TTB-registered label in distribution. So the story behind the label is fantastic, um, but Nero Davila is even better. So. Nero Davila is a grape that's typically, typically from Sicily. The symbolism to Don Cheech is he was born in Sicily. So a Sicilian varietal, again, it's a clone. We make a lot of clones. I do a video on what a clone is. You can check that out. Um, this grape comes over, excuse me, the vine comes over from Sicily, gets transplanted to one of our, our vineyards that we use over in Susan Valley, and that's where we source this, this fruit from. If you're if you know what a Nero Davila is, if you're saying, oh my God, I love Nero Davila, is I gonna try it? Wait, because a Californian clone will be different than a Sicilian varietal. This here has that light fruit, has that pepper that a Sicilian Nero Davila has, but it also has a thicker viscosity. It's got some of that, that vanilla notes, the barrel aging that American wines would go through versus the European notes. So it starts off fruity, it has some slight tannins, it's got some nice pepper notes to it, uh, and it has that barrel aging. Think a Pinot Noir, a little bit bigger, more spice to it, a little bit drier, with some great barrel notes to it as well. So, let's jump in. And right away you get strawberry, a lot of vanilla, a touch, a touch of cinnamon. As this is sitting on my palate here, my tongue is getting a little bit dry, and you are getting some pepper to it as well. I love this wine because what makes it unique is it's light, it's fruity, but it can stand up to bigger meal items. Great with salami, great with prosciutto, um, great with lamb. My mouth's watering here. This is, I'm going to start drooling soon. I'm sorry. Um, great with lamb, too overpowering for chicken, uh, too underpowered for, or, or not enough firepower in it for a steak, but, but great with lamb chops, great with charcuterie. Pizza with prosciutto, sign me up. Even if, if, if proteins aren't your thing, uh, pizza with mushrooms, you know, some earthy notes uh, will work really well with this because it has that black peppered spice. Think about it like this. When you drink Sauvignon Blanc, uh, the easiest way to consider or, or to think about Sauvignon Blanc pairings are drink it with something you would add citrus to, like lemon, lime. When you have the Don Cheech, drink it with something that you would want to add black pepper spice to it, and it would go really well together. Folks, thanks for joining us on the Don Cheech. We're going to start a campaign to make Don Cheech famous. Um, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoy.